Okay, um, I'm talking about just the, the basics right now of how to make a turbo electric nano generator because my previous uh, video was too complicated for people to really understand what was going on. So I'm, I'm simplifying it as much as possible. Okay, so what you need to start is one, Nashua or, or some other brand, this, this is what I use, aluminum tape, okay? And then you're also going to need scotch packaging tape, okay? This is heavy duty packaging tape. Um, these are the best materials you can use, like that you can find in a store. You can try other things later, but this is what works. You also need uh, two LEDs. I like to recommend two first for people that don't understand um, conversion from AC to DC. So if you don't understand that and you don't know what an H bridge is yet, uh, do this. It will work easier for you. Okay. You also need some scissors. Uh, I got my LEDs from a kit like this. Um, these are... Uh, Ah. These are, so the white ones that I'm using are 20 milliamps. They light up at 3 to 3.2 volts. Okay, that's what I'm using. Uh, that's what these, these here. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your Nashua tape. You're going to pull it out, and you're going to cut two equal sections. Okay. They look like about that long. So this is like... The length of my arm here is about it. Okay, so you need two of those. One of them you leave completely by itself. So this has uh, like a cardboard paper on the back. And just leave it alone. It's fine. Okay, the second one is the same length. What you want to do, you want to take your tape off, cut a piece of tape the length. Okay, you want to cover it up. Now on this end, you want to have it go down, and you want to completely cover the aluminum. Okay, make, make sure there is no little aluminum sticking out. You want to overlap. So here's, this is overlapping. There's no aluminum. It's just tape. Okay, you want to cover all the way down to one end, and you want to go over that end. Cover it up on the other side. Okay, you can leave, this paper here is fine. That's fine. You can leave this without tape on it. But make sure you cover the aluminum all the way up until you get to the end. Then you want to keep just a little bit out here because that's one of your electrodes. Okay, so you're going to connect to here and to here. And then you're going to um, you're going to take this up. This is not the way I normally do this, but this is it's good for demo. Okay, you get to pull that up, you get to fold all this stuff over, make sure that there's no aluminum edges sticking out, okay, do this the whole way down, cover it up, make sure it's going wrapped all the way around so that the only thing being exposed is the paper here, okay, just need to isolate the electrodes, uh, isolate these because they need an insulated layer between them because they're acting as a as a capacitor, right? So it's the whole way up, get up to here, cover that up, and that's fine right there. Okay, you do the same on the other side. All the way down. Okay. Then you end up with two of these. Okay, so this is my plain one that has no tape on it. And this is the one that has the tape on it. Okay, so this is covered up. It's folded a little better because I did it before this. And it's covered up all the way up to right there. But then this is aluminum. Okay, that's exposed. This side, this one, has no tape on it. It's just aluminum. Okay, you attach your two alligator clips up there. Okay, those come down to your two LEDs. 
Okay, but you want to not make your LEDs in the same direction. You want to have them both going different directions. So the way you look, do that, if I can zoom in here. Okay, so if you look in there, inside the LED, it's the best way for me to show this now. There's a little slant, okay? You want one of them going slanted this way, and the other one that's behind it slanted that way. Okay, you put them together, you twist the two wires so that they're stuck together, but they're going in opposite directions. Okay, the reason you do that is because you're using them as diodes to convert what's the AC signal from this so that when they, you're pushing it together, it goes in one direction, you're pulling it apart, it goes the other direction, but both directions it lights up. Okay, then you want to take your your uh, two things here and you want to make them into an accordion so you put them together and you fold them up like an accordion you want the uh, so on this side is plain aluminum this side is tape over top of the aluminum okay so it's aluminum tape aluminum this is not sticky this is the this is the non-sticky side of the tape. Okay, so you put them together. It's hard to do with one hand. I'm right-handed. Ah! <laughs> but, uh, that's good because it slows me down. Okay, so you want to fold these up. You want to try to do a better folding job than this. The, the better folding job you do better it's going to be, oh gosh, dang it, <laughs> okay, maybe, no, I'm just going to still do this, all right, give me just a second, just bear with me here, I'll talk to you, so you're not lonely while I'm doing this, don't be lonely, okay, all right, so I got it all squished up here, now, when it comes out of the top, though, okay, remember that these are these are electrodes; they're leads. So you don't want you don't so the the tape here ends right there. So I don't want this side at all touching this one because this one's completely exposed. So you have to keep these these two leads separated because if they go together, then it doesn't work. Okay, so you want them separated, but you still want to be able to squish this up and down like that. Okay, and now I'm gonna see if I can move the LED over here. Oh, dang it! <laughs> uh, I need uh, you know, I have like a phone thing, but it's always broken, and I don't like to use it. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's see if I can demo this now. All right. All right. Can everybody see this? Look, wow. It's lighting up. Now I'm at a bad angle here. If I can hold these LEDs up more. If I can grab them. Urgh. This is for your benefit. Okay. So these are white LEDs. Uh, so it means this is generating more than uh, 3.0 3 volts. Okay, because they're lighting up. Um, and this, this makes them light up you know, they're temporary, temporary. So when I squeeze, the top one lights up. When I let go, the bottom one lights up. Squeeze, let go, squeeze, let go, squeeze, let go, squeeze, let go, squeeze, let go. So if you want these to stay on though, um, if you want them to stay on, then instead what you need to do is you need to, one, rectify 
the the uh, AC signal that's going positive, negative, positive, and negative. Okay, you need to get an H bridge. Um, you can get H bridges that look like this. This that little see that little black thing in there. That is a chip. That's an H bridge I use a lot. Whoa. What is that? It is. Um, there we go. It's a two W one zero. If that helps. So what you'll do is you'll put your two you'll put your two AC lines from your tang onto each of those little squiggly things on the side, and then you have the positive and negative going out the other one. And then you only need one LED that will light up in both directions, okay? Because it's going to always have the positive going on one side. Inside of that little thing there is actually four diodes in like a, like a diamond configuration. And what that allows it to do is um, it takes, takes the, the wave signal, the AC signal, and converts it to direct current, which is just a steady positive signal. Okay, so if you, and then, so this will, this will make it so that this light stays on in both directions. Um, I could connect this up right now, but, I mean, I, let me keep talking and I'll try <laughs> with my hand while I'm doing this. Um, so, uh, the other thing you can do is you can have that go out of... Um, out of that rectifier into a capacitor, right? And then charge up a capacitor. Now you want the capacitor to be have small enough of a of a farad size. So I think like you know like 50 microfarads or something like that uh, was what I used. It's a very small value um, because otherwise it is not going to get up to the right voltage it takes a while for that thing to charge up and then now you can actually get it to work with a very large capacitor but you will be sitting there doing this for hours until it gets up to the right voltage to make the led turn on um uh, you could put it in a backpack I've, I've done that before um but the other thing you do is so you have it go into a capacitor and then you want to drain out the current out of the capacitor slower through the uh, LED. And so what you'll do is you'll put um, a resistor in parallel with that with that LED, and that will that will make it work better. So right now you'll notice I'm doing something wrong. What am I doing wrong? Oh, it's not lighting up. What am I doing wrong? Well. It's because those leads are touching, okay? I have to separate these out again, or it's not gonna work, okay?